Hi, my name is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center, and today I want to show you a 2013 Kawasaki Ninja 650 uh, in the metallic spark black. That's kind of a two tone black. We've got this glossy metallic spark black here and here, and then we've got like a satin metallic black or a flat black uh, on the lower fairing. Uh, on some of the rear section in this little first part of the gas tank there. So uh, really looks good and then gloss black wheels but the contrast in those blacks really look nice. And then you've got this yellow shock spring and a little yellow uh, 650 graphic right up there. Uh, Ninja 650s, really great bikes. Twin cylinder 650, fuel injected, dual overhead cam, four valve per cylinder. Uh, has the two piece seat on it which gives it a nice look. LED rear tail light with the clear turn signal lenses, uh, 17 inch radial tires, and it looks like this is a 160 60 in the back, and it's probably a uh, 110 70 in the front. Yep, the clear flush mount turn signals there. These uh, have the dual headlights. We look here at the front, and then this also has an adjustable windshield. Uh, now it's adjustable in that you can unbolt it, set it where you want it, and bolt it back on uh, so you can raise it there. It's not a quick adjust, but it's got three position windshield. So you can move it here, and you can move it up a little bit, move it up a little bit. But that'll raise that windshield. So if you're doing more touring or longer distance riding or uh, commuting, maybe you'd like a little better wind protection. You can do that with this bike. Uh, Ninja 650. It's uh, been a pretty popular bike. They made some changes to this bike since it was first introduced. It was first introduced, I believe, back in 06, if I remember right. And then I believe about 09, we came out with the next generation of Ninja 650. And then 2012, I believe, was the next generation of Ninja 650. So the 12s and 13s, pretty much the same. And uh, the big thing uh, that they changed on them, besides some of the styling, the, you know, Kawasaki has been doing what they call this CAMS, or Kawasaki Air Management System. So all of their new bike designs that they're doing, they're really trying to duct hot air from the motor and radiator away from the rider in all their designs. So that was part of the redesign on this bike. Also changed the chassis some, where with the old chassis we had a real, you know, this would still be a trellis frame, I think, but uh, we had like a triangle in the frame. This one now they have a double row of pipes or uh, uh, frame rails there, uh, and they mimic that in the swing arm. A little hard to see. There it is, those two double pipes. So before you had a, 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 a piece of frame member running right across here. That piece is now gone, and it's a double row here uh, for that added strength. But I think what that allowed it to do was to get this bike a little slimmer through here, which is what the uh, designers, engineers wanted to do. But uh, so a little different with the chassis from the 11s, uh, 10s, and 9 Ninja 650s. Uh, cassette type transmission, which just means the transmission is serviceable without removing the engine from the frame. You've got your muffler right down here. One of the cool things about the Ninja 650 is the muffler is right there down low. Uh, really nice look down low, and it gives you a lower center of gravity on the bike. Come around here and look at this side. Get a look at this side of the motor. You got your dual discs on the front with the pedal style rotors. Those little cuts in the rotor, the little pedals we call them, um, allow for more surface area to dissipate heat. You got the little rubber on top of the foot pegs. It uh, helps insulate you from some of the vibration a little bit. Nice, comfortable seat. Uh, comfortable when we're talking about compared to, say, a ZX6R, the seat's really pretty thin on. Uh, great instrumentation with this analog tachometer and then the digital readout on the speedometer and the rest of the instrumentation, foot fuel gauge, clock, odometer, trip meter, just a full uh, array of instrumentation there. So really nice instrumentation. Uh, pretty standard on the handlebar controls. This does have hazard lights in addition to the turn signals, high and low beam, and the horn button. And then it also has a pass button right, in, right, button right there. And then you've got uh, engine off and run, start button. Of course, your front brake, you got the dial on the levers. Let you adjust the reach from the grip to the lever on each side. Uh, ignition switch is right there. Uh, these will run on 87 octane fuel, so you do not have to have premium fuel on these. But uh, just a really great bike. Good bike for uh, not every new rider should probably start out on a 650, but I think there's some people that if you've got a little bit of experience, you've taken a class, Ninja 650 could be the right bike for you. Uh, of course, it's hard to say just by watching my video or for me to say what bike's right for you without, uh, without talking to you at all. So 
but uh, you know we have had some new riders start out on 650s and uh, have done real well with them uh, some folks maybe should start out on the 300 but uh, you know talk to your local dealer come by and see us we have to talk to you to see if we can help you decide which is the, the right bike for you and if you're an experienced rider this is still a fun bike to ride I've been riding uh, for 25 years more than 25 years and uh, Ninja 650 is a fun bike to ride even for me so uh, uh, just a fun fun bike to ride so all right that's a look at this 2013 Kawasaki Ninja 650 in the black uh, we are Mainland Cycle Center uh, our, you can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com our phone number is 409-948-4969 we are located just outside of Houston Texas about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston just off of I-45 in Lamarck Texas give us a call shoot us an email come by and see us we would love to help any way we can hey thanks for watching